it's so interesting, you know, you can see marked signs of independence in children well, right from the time they're born, basically, because what's one of the things that's really funny about infants is that you know, when they're crying, you always think, oh, the baby's well, you're crying, it's, the baby's sad, it's like, no <laughs> a lot of the time that baby is angry and the way that we know that is because you could do facial expression coding on infants, just like on, on adults, and you can tell what a, emotion they're expressing, and very frequently, like wh when the kid starts to recognize his mom explicitly, because he or she knows the smell right away, pretty much in the sound of the voice, but visually um, if someone who comes in and it isn't who the baby wants, so generally it isn't mom, the baby will start to cry, but it's not because the baby's sad generally, it's because it's angry that mom didn't show up and that's an early sign of will, it's like this kid has, this kid wants things, like, and it's perfectly willing to tell you about that, and of course a two year old who's having a temper tantrum is in some sense doing the same thing, it's poorly integrated will and independence obviously, but it certainly runs contrary to what you want, you don't want your two year old having a temper tantrum in the middle of the toy store, it's extraordinarily embarrassing for you and well, for you, but it's also embarrassing for the two-year-old, this is one of the th reasons I think that that sort of thing should be carefully socialized rapidly, because it's actually humiliating for the kid, because other people don't like that, and they're very judgmental about, like they won't say anything usually, but sometimes they will, but they're not happy about the fact that that's happening, and they will judge the child negatively, and so you don't want your child to be behaving in a way in public that makes other people think badly of them, it's it's really, it's really not good, and so you, you, part of your job as a parent is to not expose your child to that sort of experience, especially not repeatedly, it's really hard on them, or they get narcissistic, which is also really hard on them, it's just, it takes a lot longer to manifest itself, so anyways